for the last segment here, I want to bring in Dalton Trailer. Uh, Dalton Trailer <clears throat> is the is a political strat- strategist with Mobilize the Message, and he is a general in uh, when it comes to door knocking the troops in the door knocking world. And um, Dalton, welcome to the program. I know you're on the ground there in Boise. Um, a lot of activity happening at the state house, but your job is mainly out in the field, so to speak, um, mobilizing folks to door knock and get involved in helping preserve liberty and individual rights and getting people fired up for uh, for the, the good message of, of, of liberty and our champions. So uh, welcome to the program. What can you tell us about your uh, your time in Boise there and what you're up to? Uh, it's been nice. I got here about a week ago, came up from Mississippi. Um, you know, this is not my first time in Idaho, though. I was uh, here last or last election cycle two years ago. And, um, you know, back then we uh, – it was our first run at, you know, trying to do something exactly like we're doing right now with the this level of local recruitment and, you know, endorsing this many candidates. Obviously, I had a lot of people we endorsed last time, and I believe we ended up doing, I kind of had nine full-timers last time, and we knocked about 65,000 doors, and uh, I'm hitting the ground a little early this time around, <clears throat> and uh, the reason why we're going to be a little more ambitious, I think we're probably going to be aiming for somewhere around 100,000 doors. And so I'm just kind of here in Boise getting to know, you know, local activists, student groups, uh, whatever. I've, I've got to know the, the kids at the Turning Point USA chapter and the Young Americans for Liberty and college Republicans already. And I'm hoping to get into, you know, probably uh, county GOPs here soon, get to know some folks there. But it's looking like we've got a lot of good prospects already. And I'm uh, looking forward to hitting the ground sometime in late March is when we're going to really start hitting doors a lot. Great. Excellent. Okay. Well, full disclosure, everybody, because uh, I am executive director of Citizens Alliance of Idaho. Um, and I'm also the treasurer for our, our PAC, the Citizens Alliance of Idaho PAC. And, um, what we do is we, we work with Mobilize the Message. We work with Dalton here to, to, uh, recruit door knockers. Dalton, you've, you've, you do this across the entire country. Um, mobilize folks, uh, into door knocking teams. I want to get at, get, get that in, get into that in a second but i just want the po- folks to realize out there that um you know what my organizations do is is get involved um we really try and get in, as much involved as possible in helping um in helping our pledge signers and those who are in good standing and folks who are willing to sign our pledge and so getting door knockers out there to cover the entire state which you you i mean last cycle like you just mentioned you knock doors from the east through the treasure valley and up into the north uh it was incredible but uh, i believe we had 14 districts we ended up knocking in and towards the end it was kind of rough i had uh i had a team in Coeur d'Alene, you know helping alfieri and taves who's supposed to be on here today and uh then i had another team back in idaho falls knocking for barb ehart and that's eight hours apart <laughs> so it was, yeah it was rough <laughs> trying to manage those people <laughs> right, right. So, 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 just a little bit of background because I want to get your some of your bona fides here. You know, uh, get people excited about who who they'll be working under uh, if they want to get involved in door knocking. We'll get into that in a second. But talk to me about some of your national campaigns, where you've been across the nation, and who you've helped uh, mobilize do- door knockers for. Oh man, uh, yeah. You say all over the country. That's a pretty accurate statement. I think at this point, I'm I'm down to about eight or nine states that I have not been to. And, uh, you know, last time I was here, probably the biggest one that I've done, actually it is, it's the biggest contract that I've done. Um, and it was a a real dream for me when I first got into politics was 2016 and I was a big Rand Paul supporter. And last time I was here, we were doing this. And then immediately after we already had lined up to do a half a million doors for Rand Paul. And we were really looking forward to that. And so, uh, a lot of the kids that I recruited, especially, you know, from like towards BYUI or whatever, Whenever we uh, finished here, you know, that was what we had lined up. And it was a big selling point to be able to tell people, yeah, you get to go knock for Rand Paul when you're done here. And uh, that to the day, that's been the biggest contract that I've done so far. But, um, you know, I've, I've helped with, uh, you know, many candidates, even up to this year. Um, we've done a little bit of stuff back in, uh, you know, the, the summer. We did some stuff with the presidentials. Uh, We had some, you know, friends that were helping with Vivek and had some guys help with that a little bit. Um, Yeah, and I mean, it's just been basically I've been graduated college two years ago and been on the road doing this. Wow. 
Wow, that's awesome. I mean that, and that, and that's what you're looking for. You're looking for y- other young, motivated people yeah. who who um, who get who can get behind not just um, a particular person, but the whole idea of this movement. I mean, this is a conservative mm-hmm. movement. This is a liberty minded movement that we're trying to get people engaged back into this process. So when you are looking for door knockers, I mean, who who do you who do you see as the most um, viable candidates for this type of position? Yeah, um, actually, I mean, probably the perfect one is, uh, and I can tell you this from being a political science major, a a lot of the kids that I graduated with didn't necessarily have anything lined up. Uh, You know, you go get a bachelor's degree in political science and then you find out, well, you're going to have to go work a normal job. (laughs) Right. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So there's some paths into politics and most of them are not well paying. You can go work for, you know, be a staffer you know, on the hill or something and make two grand a month or whatever. And, you know, really you're just sort of an office, you know, desk jockey. Um, you're not making a huge difference in anything. Um, whereas this, I, I love this for kids that are just getting out of college because it's like, I mean, it pays a little better. And literally, I mean, we've been involved in elections where the difference was a few hundred votes Right. And you can bet your bottom dollar that, you know, us knocking 30,000 doors in that district made that and difference. That, and, and that's the key right there. I mean, we've heard from many people, you know, oh, we, you got to have this strategy, you got to have that strategy. But we know, you absolutely know that the number one strategy mm-hmm. for candidates to, to beat an incumbent is for them to be out there door knocking and to have volunteers out there door knocking. Mm-hmm. Um, and then the number one way for an incumbent to keep their seat is also to go out there and door knock yeah. and have and have advocates out there door knocking for us. Why do you think that is? Why is door knocking the number one way to to get people motivated to vote for your candidate? I would say it's just a foolproof way to contact a voter. Um, you know, I mean, you can run ads on this website or that website or whatever, and um, you know, people may or may not see it, but making sure somebody takes. Uh, you know, an item with your face and your name and your platform to a voter's house, like they're going to get it. Yeah. They may just glance at it and throw it away. If, you know, they're not there, they don't answer the door and we just have to leave it on the door or whatever, but they're going to see it. It's, it's a much more foolproof way of contacting people. And then there's statistics on it. And those, you know, if any of the people watching this have been to the candidate training seminars y'all did back in the spring and summer, I know Justin, he likes to do this statistical breakdown on, you know, you win uh, one voter per X amount of ads you run, one voter per X amount of, you know, lit drops, and then per X amount of, you know, voter contacts, which is conversations we're having with people at the door, talking to them about who they're planning to support. And that's the, the highest effectiveness one. That's like one out of six, you win votes there. And it's, it's just a, a very aggressive, foolproof way of contacting voters. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, that you're right. The personal contact, the actual, you know, you know, and when and when you have when you have a young, hungry uh, mm-hmm. person who's like, hey, I, I really people. like this guy. Yeah, yeah, it impresses people when they see a young person come do it too. You know, that the, an older, you know, Republican voter will see a young person go in and, and supporting this Republican, and they, they like that. Right. Uh, yeah, and that's a big part of it as well. That's great. Okay, so, um, so let's say someone's watching right now and they're like, Oh, this would be perfect for my, for my son or, or there's a college student who should be doing something else, but he's watching Idaho signal right now. Uh, what, uh, what, what can they do? How do they get in contact with you if they want to sign up specifically for Idaho and go out there and help pound the pavement for, for Liberty? Uh, yeah, you can go to campaignjobsnow.com. That's, um, all one word and then there you see in the middle it's uh, got a, a idaho specific application um you Fantastic. know and, yep when you submit that i get it so um you know we're probably like i say we're probably not actually starting hitting these doors hard until the late march so it, it won't be super fast we'll get back in touch with you probably but uh, you will certainly hear from us if you put in an application before we get going Great. And now you'll accept folks who just want to volunteer and get on your, your, your door knocking team. Mm-hmm. But let's, let's, uh, let's make sure people understand that this is, this is an actual job, right? Yeah. I mean, they're, they're going to get a little bit of salary from this. Oh yeah. Yeah. And, uh, 
that's that's you know last time that's what i was saying i was also sort of getting people lined up for Rand paul obviously uh nobody's going to volunteer to go all the way to kentucky you know and just stay there six months and not for free um yeah it is a full-time job now i, I take part-time people uh we have a hourly rate kind of that we've came up with if you have you know you're somebody that you have another job and you really like the person that we're y'all are going to endorse in their district and they just want to knock on the weekends or whatever, we have an hourly rate, but I'm looking for at least, like I say, at least a dozen full-time people that basically can get out there and knock, you know, at least 120 or 30 doors a day, every day, except Sunday. And, um, you know, we, we pay $120 a day. Uh, we cover gas and then say you want to help, but we're not endorsing anybody in your district. And the nearest endorsement is maybe three hours or four hours away or whatever. Uh, I will relocate you and I cover housing as well. Wow. Okay. Yep. All right. Well, there's no excuses, folks. No excuses out there. Uh, mobile. Um, I'm sorry. Campaign jobs. Now we got it scrolling down there at the bottom. Uh, Dalton trailer. Thank you so much for coming in. We're going to check in with you again to see how it's going. And I know I'll be checking with in, when you uh, off camera as well, but uh, we're going to yep. check in with you as well and see how things are going out there. Thanks. Thanks for coming on today. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me on.